So you might be wanting to go ahead and change your autocorrect settings within your iPhone. Now doing this is very, very easy. The first thing you want to do is you want to make your way over to your iPhone settings right here and you'll pretty much come into a panel that looks like this. Now what you want to do here is you want to scroll down until you get into general. So you want to go and click on your general settings here and you'll see a ton of things that come up. But right here you will see keyboard. You'll also see dictionary. If you click on dictionary, you'll see all the language stuff, whatever. But right under keyboard, when you click here, you'll see a couple things that come up. Now, autocorrect, as some of you may know, is essentially if you type something, it's going to change it to something else. So if you go under your text replacement option here, you can go and click here. It's going to tell you and show you exactly everything that you have set up where you can go ahead and pretty much convert it over to something else. So if I pretty much text on my way, I can go and get it to on my way right there. So if you want to go and change your autocorrect settings, what you can do is you can click that plus button and here you can go and change it to something else. So if I go ahead and type something like FYI, I can go ahead and change it to pretty much, you know, change it to, well, I'm assuming this one would be FYI at the bottom and this one would be for like your information or something, right? So this is an example, right? So if I go ahead and do something like this, I go and click save. You can see that if I type FYI, it's going to change it to that. So now if we go ahead and make our way over to messages, if I go and just type in FYI, you can see it does change it to for your information. So that is pretty much how to do it. You can go and, you know, use it, utilize it however way you want to. I think a lot of people end up using some sort of, you know, curse words and end up changing it that way. But this is pretty much how you do it. If you have any other thoughts or questions, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would be so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video.